Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell, I am in a different area. I'm sitting on my bed, so I know the lighting is probably really backlit because of my window, but I'm in the process of moving my room around, so it's a mess in here. I have furniture just kind of all piled in the middle of my room. So, but I needed to record today, so I was like, you know what, I will take a break from moving furniture and do the best I can. When I do have my room moved around, it'll look a little different in here, so I won't be in that same part of my room with the same backdrop. So, so anyways, without any more jibber-jabbering, today I am doing an unboxing that actually has been requested, and it's one of my most viewed videos, and that is of Moth and Moon. If you haven't seen that video already, I will link it down below, but I've already done one of the unboxings from them already. What it is is it's an Etsy shop that does a lot of uh, curiosity type stuff so there's bones and fossils and uh, even gemstones stuff like that a lot of cool crystals uh, a lot of really unique odd curiosities and that type of thing and I really liked the last box I got which I will also link all of their information down below as well if you do really like this and you want to go and check it out for yourself. Uh, this box itself is $25 for 10 items. Uh, they are completely random. Um, I'm hoping I don't get the same stuff as last time, but from what I understand, it, they've got enough different things where that really shouldn't happen. I might get a couple duplicate items, but in general, they have a lot of different stuff. But yeah, I so I got one from them. I did already cut the box open so I could take my shipping label off the top, but other than that, I have not looked in here at all, and I'm so excited. I really liked the last one, and apparently you guys did too, so I had to get another one because a couple people had asked me if I planned on getting another one, and I was like, you know what? I do. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into this box. So it is all wrapped up in this beautiful dark green paper. And then also bubble wrap. I gotta say, I really do like the way that they package their stuff. It's very beautifully packaged. They package everything very safely. As you can see, it was wrapped in a ton of bubble wrap so that nothing could break or get shaken around. But here is the box. Uh, I saved the ribbon from last time. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm pretty sure it's like sari silk. The one that was on it last time, I think it was a darker color. So I'm gonna try to find something cool to do with these. But I love the way they package it. It's always really pretty. Untie this. And then here is their little card. It's just got a really pretty green moth on it. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Since it's a little bit darker of an area I'm in, even with my ring light, you should be able to see that a little better. And then there is a little mushroom stamped onto the box. So cute. All right, I'm really excited. Let's get into this. All right, so when you open it up, they've got this really pretty uh, botanical printed paper, which let me spread that out a little bit so you can actually see it. It's very pretty. All right. So again, this is 10 item. The first one is a butterfly wing. Let me take it out of the bag. I did get one of these in the last box, but it was definitely a different one. This one doesn't say what kind it is, but I'm sure I could look it up. Very pretty. It's a lot bigger than the other one I got too. The other one I got was a glass wing butterfly wing and it was very small. This one's actually quite decently sized. And again, since my camera is not the best quality, I will take a better photo of everything and insert it at the end. We have that. Next up we have fox toe bones. Get those out of the bag. They're very tiny. Just, there's a little, I don't know if I get in front of my curtain, <laughs> you guys can see it better, but there's three little bones in there. And next up we have a mink jaw bone. So tiny. Looks like he's missing a tooth, but there is that little jawbone. Then next up we have raccoon molars, which you can actually see these in the bag, I think. Yeah. There is three in there. And next up we have beaver molars. I will take that out of the bag as well. Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder because I'm trying to see like if it's too bright, not bright enough. I can never tell. So yeah, these are the beaver molars. In here I'm trying to like curve my hand well enough where you can see them then there is tourmaline which this one is multicolored. so 
So it's got several different colors in there. It's a pretty decent amount. Then we have, oh, Desert Rose, which is a form of selenite, which I'm sure most of you probably know what this stone is. It's a pretty popular one. This is a pretty big one, actually. Get it out of the bag. This is a very big one. I like the way this one's shaped as well. Then we have some copper nuggets, which, so far, there's a lot of stones in this one. Um, I actually have a giant chunk of copper in my crystal display case that's on my wall. There's three little, oh, I don't know how well I can show you this without dumping them on my floor. There's like three little chunks of copper right there. I have no curtains on this window next to me and my neighbor's house is incredibly close and I'm sure they're just staring at me right now. It's making me feel weird. Then I have some Labradorite. There's a couple chunks in here which this is a very beautiful stone. So yeah there's two in here. There's these two nice size pieces. Yeah, this one's definitely got a lot of stones compared to the other one. I think the other one I got may have had two or three in it. This one's actually got quite a few. And then the last item in the box is a sea urchin fossil from Morocco. I'll take this out. Which this is pretty cool. Oh, there's two of them in here. Uh, this is especially interesting because the last one I got, I believe I got sea urchin uh, quills. So it's very cool that now I have the fossils as well. I don't know how well you guys can see those. Um, again, I will leave a photo at the end of this video. So that is really cool. I definitely really like these boxes. I'll quickly go back through all 10 items with you guys again. So we've got the sea urchin fossils, the desert rose or selenite, the labradorite, and we've got the tourmaline. Line, the mink jawbone, the raccoon molars, the beaver molars, the butterfly wing, the copper nuggets, and the fox toe bones. So I really like this box. Um, I think it's really unique and interesting, especially if you're into that kind of thing. I am working on a little display case for the ones that I got last time, and now I'm going to add these ones to it too, so hopefully I can show that eventually. Uh, I think it's a very cool thing, especially if you're into anatomy or just anything cool like that. Uh, it's definitely a cool box for stones as well. They do have bigger boxes that I believe come with 15 or 20 items. Uh, again, this one for the 10 is $25, and I believe it was only like an additional $5 for shipping. I'm not positive, but I will link all that information below, of course. Uh, I definitely really like this one. I might have like this one a little bit more than the other one even. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I, I love them both, <laughs> honestly. I definitely suggest checking them out. They're a really cool shop. They also have where you can buy single items as well instead of mystery item if you see a stone on there or a bone or anything like that that you would want or think is cool. You can buy them separately. Uh, again, I just like getting the mystery ones because it makes it more fun because then I don't know what I'm getting. And it's a nice variety of stuff, I think, for the price, especially for the price. So I definitely suggest checking them out. It's a really cool shop. Again, it's called Of Moth and Moon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below what you think of this shop and if you've ever gotten anything from them before. I'd love to know what kind of stuff you guys got from them. Again, subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. I am uploading every Thursday and now every Monday as well, minus this past Monday. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.